brand new android tutorial and today my topic of discussion will be uh, in the topic of view model but i will be teaching you uh, the interesting fact about uh, when we create a view model because in my previous lecture i introduced you about view model and also um, like implementing the library of uh, lifecycle extension library to use view model right to create a subclass of view model in my previous lecture so if you have not gone through my previous if you don't know about view model and uh, if you don't have any idea of view model creations then please follow my uh, previous lecture video and also read my blog post uh, but today my topic will be of discussion will be once you create the view model like a simple view model um, how do you distinguish like um, there might be it might be tricky that uh, which uh, what are the code that should be in view model and what are the code that should be in the ui controller so th this is a uh, confusion among every developers uh, initially you know in like initially they kind of have uh, such kind of confusion like where to put the my view model code and where to uh, put my ui controller code right so uh, i will try to summarize my concepts of um, separating this tricky concept of uh, separating the logic among view model and ui controller okay so i will be talking uh, regarding this concept so and i will also give you uh, gi be giving you some uh, brief uh, demo uh, in my app like there uh, i will i have created a simple uh, app okay like it's a simple app uh, with a simple game like which will be you will be like this game consists of a, like a surname so you have to guess the surname of a person okay so chen who is the famous person with the surname chen is jackie chen right so if you got it then you have a score of one then what is the person of a surname gates that's bill gates right so actually it's like a guessing game you know guessing person guessing uh, game so you know it's bill gates right so you got it so it's like such kind of game so actually what i have done for the moment is i all my logics are in a, a ui controller that is a game fragment okay every logic is here so now i will what i will do is i will create a view model called game view model and then i will try to separate the logic um, uh, from uh, ui controller to view model so i will be separating the logic from game game fragment ui controller and putting some of the logic to the uh, like view model okay and then um, i will uh, try to explain you the concept uh, step by step so uh, uh, so let's try to understand in ui controller or fragment or activity whatever you say like what are the codes that should be in the ui controller the code need to, that need to be displayed that is the proper value on the screen and the code which captures user events should be in ui controller logic whereas like for example I, as you can see here init listener this method what is it doing is like um, uh, uh, game binder has the reference up for the button and so whenever you click the button you say like um, okay i will show you also in the if you see this uh, correct button that is got it so this selection of this uh, on click listener all the task that is done here is should be in ui controller okay see so this set on click listeners actually and also like as you can see when i uh, click this button i also update the um, surname text and also i update the score right so uh, this actually if you see it's done here in uh, update surname text and update score text so actually this should be also you know done properly on the uh, ui controller that is a game fragment okay so this is the concept and also it's it should not hold the ui data that we want to survive rotation or configuration changes so ui data means uh, these are the ui data that will not survive the configuration changes for example as i told you like this uh, score number three if you if you change this um, the configuration obviously this will not survive the configuration changes, changes because it uh, the um, the fragment will be recreated right so when the fragment will be recreated the score will be obviously uh, obviously zero if you see it didn't survive the configuration changes right the score uh, was previously three but it was uh, it went to score zero so you know such kind of um, of uh, data ui data should not be in a uh, ui controller it should be in a view view model okay so let me also re 
okay so that was the concept now the third is you should not contain any of the code that process the ui data so all the code that processes the data like processing the data means like how do you update the score right so, so you process the score right like you uh, you as you can see here you uh, you get the next surname that is processing the data like for example i will show you like when you like okay trump trump is who is the famous person of uh, surname trump that is donald trump okay so if you see now you know this is doing some processing that is like whenever you make a uh, click this button it processes the um, this um, text and say and gives you the new updated text that is elizabeth right now this elizabeth that is queen elizabeth and you know so this processing is also may you see in the next surname this method is doing all this processing updating the surname updating the score text you know this the processing actually it should be done in the uh, uh, in your view model okay it should not be done in the uh, in the game fragment all right so actually also this reset list okay so and finally you have to understand that the ui controller is the one that instantiate and contains the view okay so everything that contains the view that is associated with the, with the view is to be in, um, the code that associate the view or instantiate the view or contain the uh, contains the view should be in a ui controller okay whereas uh, view model should contain data for the ui that is this one those datas for the ui that should survive the configuration changes and uh, the, uh, all the processing of the data the decision making codes like uh, you know next surname and reset list you know it's resetting the whole suffering if you see here it's doing the suffering the 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 name uh, that we display actually you know the surname list and um, and it should not contain the reference with the fragment so it should not contain all the reference that is associated with the fragment the views right so now uh, let's do a use case so now i will um, create a view model okay simply i will create a view model class called uh, game view model right it's a class yeah and obviously if you guys know like when i create a view model i have to subclass with the view model and and uh, on cleared you know so this is the method i override so nothing much to do uh, and then uh, here in the view mode i will instantiate the view model with uh, private late int var is a view model what that will be uh, my game view model right so and then i instantiate the view model here instantiate the view model here so my view model will be uh, view model provider okay then we will be accepting this um, um life cycle owner and then it will be getting the the my view model that is uh, game view model class right so it's easy peasy right so here we have the view model now uh, okay let's let me separate the logic step by step okay so okay i create the view model then i move all the ui data that uh, i should, should survive the configuration changes it is this one i move it here easy peasy those all the data that should survive the configuration changes should be here let me also um, make this public those values uh, because i need to um, get the values from here okay and then easy peasy okay also the, those things that are doing the um, these are the methods which are doing the decision making operations you know so this should be also here okay so i move all this code to here this should be decision making code should be okay let me also write it here is the sun making codes right and the first is uh, uh, okay uh, ui dot 
data okay uh, surviving conf changes okay first thing is ui data conf survey but anyhow i have also provided you the detailed information here in the use case first move all the data that should survive the configuration changes that is this one then you have to um, make also move the decision making course and okay so we don't move the data binding okay so here uh, guys be careful that um, this data binding as you can um, like that is uh, actually getting the containing the reference of the viewer if you don't know about data binding just please follow my previous lecture videos about data binding but anyhow in simple terms and this data binding what is it doing is containing all the reference of the views so as you can see in the listener this data binding has the reference for this button okay that's a view and also this is another button that's a skip view so you see actually you know this data binder has a reference to these two views that is this button and this button right and like and it's we are doing a set on click listener so actually we should not move this uh, data binder code to the view model okay it should be in the uh, game fragment that is a ui controller right so and also now the another step is uh, we want to make the initialization this two initialization as you can see this um, these two initializers what are they doing is this is initializing the the data okay reset the list and uh, getting the next surname so this should be also done in a view model okay so what i will do is actually this is an initialization so what i have to do is i will create a init block and put these two codes here right so this as the initialization block which is doing the initial like making the decision making code initializing the uh, it is initializing the decision making code okay so now okay what else okay so finally let me start cleaning the thing so the cleaning means like i don't need this to stop update surname text and score text right um yeah i don't need this i also don't need this but let me start cleaning it from here because you know if uh, if you see the surname is actually in the view model so we get the surname from the view model we get the score from the view model you know if you see like we are getting all this uh, the data from the view model and finally okay so important concept that we have to understand is like we also should not uh, do like this navigation in the uh this navigation actually what is this navi when the game is finished it's navigating to the um to the score fragment that is another fragment which is showing the score okay so be careful that don't move this navigation section to the view model okay it should be in the ui controller but the, for the moment like we uh, let me comment this because we don't need that uh okay and finally i think this also we need to move this uh, those methods also because actually what they are doing is um, skipping and uh, like it's uh, incrementing the score right so it's it's also kind of a little tricky but actually also we can move this to the view model so let's move it to also the view model mm, so it will see also be in the view model okay and um, let me also um, remove this one and you see what is doing is like when the button correct button this one is clicked this got button is clicked you have to increment the the score right so actually we have to also uh, update the score if you see and update the surname text if you see it's doing two things uh, here right whenever you click here and also when you click here so actually uh, on both the this button click you have to update the name and score so on correct will be from the view model right okay what's the problem here mm, yeah actually it's a private so make it public okay so i think it's okay 
and view model on skip okay so guys we are pretty much okay with this section so now we need to solve this section here yeah the section is this one so for the moment it's game finish is what it's doing mm, okay it's accessing the data because game in the game finish section we are navigating to another fragment so actually we can skip this uh, section for the moment because uh, we will be doing this uh, later on we don't need this section okay so we can comment this for the moment so uh, guys so okay pretty much we are cool okay we have separated the logic between game fragment and game view fragment so now your code is, is pretty much uh, clean and much nicer okay we are um, and also it will survive the configuration changes so let me run the app again okay and then we will see the cool situation now so let's play and uh, let's okay everything is working pretty fine so it's score is four if i make a configuration changes cool if you see the it survived the configuration like config changes right and everything is working fine so if i move back to the same fragment you see it survived the configuration changes and also uh, it's um the state is maintained so that's pretty cool and uh, fine so i hope guys uh, like you understood uh, the concept that I was trying to explain you about um, view model and like most especially specifically today I was explaining you about what code to actually put in your view model you know so this was the 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 big topic of the discussion of today so thank you for listening and uh, hope to catch you in my next video